somebody like me This is the fundamental analysis of Ayala Land ending third quarter of 2022. You see the current fundamentals of the company and see can buy it at a price kung saan may bigyan tayo na at least 10% year on year for the next few years. Here's the growth overview for Ayala Land and property sector. Tinamaan sila nung pandemic and they're trying to recover. So revenue still recovering. Malayo pa. Net income still recovering. And malayo pa rin. Assets still growing. Liquid assets going down. FFO going down. And malayo pa yung kailangan i-recover. So liquidity is good. Shares of standing still flat. Debt to EBITDA 5.24. Kailangan bumalik yan below 3 na... Nangyari sa kanya, 2017 to 2019. Here's my checklist for this company. Cheapness issue. Nagtitrade at a high multiples. Due to the strong brand name of the Ayala, most likely. Growth. So, ilan ba niyang i-break yung kanyang growth 5 years ago? ROIC, 3.1%. Average payout the last 3 years is 4.4 or 1.10%. Mababa. Quarterly performance, revenues flat, net income, FFO going up. And this is the history of dividends for Ayala. 1.92 when everything is okay. Then 2020 pandemic, nagbaba 1%, 1.03, still the same 1%. So mababa talaga guys. Now let's take a look at the valuations of this company. So, yung company na to, I think, nag-reach at a high multiples right now. Unless you believe in the brand name, then pwede mong gamitin yan. But ako, I neglect that brand factor in my valuation analysis. So, if they will grow, negative 3.28% year on year. 18.18. They're growing almost flat on the last four quarters. 20.25. And then using 0% growth assumption, 21.06. So, I think the company is overvalued right now. And ang growth niya is almost flat. And if that's the case, 20 to 21. And 20 to 21, dyan siya nag-dip nung pandemic. Anyways, meron naman siyang decent momentum right now. So, pag nag-continue yan, then in the next few quarters, there will be some positive growth for this company. And maybe, by that time, tumas na yung kanyang valuations. And here's my one-pager stock analysis. Going to print this in PDF format. Save it in our Google Drive folder for my sponsors to access. And that's it. That's my analysis on Ayala Land. I don't like this stock right now overvalued thank you and bye bye like subscribe